Hey y'all, Shonda here, and I am bringing you guys our final chakra lifestyle video, right? Topping it all off with our crown chakra. So the crown chakra is literally what we think. Boop, crown, right? The top of our heads, right? Um, I think of like our hair, but it is like, think of the top of our head as this, this connector, this open core that connects us to the divine, whatever you believe in, whatever, whoever that connection you have when it comes to your divine self, when it comes to your higher self. For me, it's my higher self. It's my connection to my ancestors. It's my connection to spirit, right? And you also want to think, right, when you're doing that, thank you, when you're doing that crown chakra, it allows for you to be open to really hear for yourself when you're moving through your day-to-day -day life allow for you to hear that kind of that small voice hear that suggestion not this negative self-talk right not the ego but to to hear that maybe you should go left instead of right maybe you should da, 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 right to really stay connected to um stay connected to spirit stay connected to your guides all right that's what the crown chakra does for you so if you're someone who sees angel numbers you see certain synchronicities if one of the ways you like to stay um connected to your loved ones or you have your own uh language your own signs i just finished reading this awesome book called uh, signs where they talk about uh, the author talks about how you can establish your own language you know with your loved ones that are in the spirit world or with your spirit guides whether that is all right y'all send me you know 11 11 if this and this or send me a blue jay send me a butterfly right the only way you can really start to see those things sometimes and the way you can make that stronger that relationship and connection that language stronger is as you continue to heal your crown chakra, right? You continue to heal it and keep it open um, and protect it. Thank you. <laughs> and so the crown chakra is the color purple. All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy is purple. All right. And it's, it's that divine connection. It is that divine realm. I almost want to say, you know, that, that, that royal part of you, especially when you're connected to your higher self, that royal part of you. So when we're thinking about what does that look like when we incorporate it into our lifestyle, right? That looks like, especially when you do movement, that looks like movement that is going to require you to be very aware of your head placement. And this is just, thank you, this is just with any movement you do. So, of course, in yoga, there are specific poses and exercises that you can do that will uh, engage and activate the crown chakra, right? Things that, um, poses that are going to ask for you to tilt your head back, that are going to ask for you to keep your shoulders down and your head lifted so that you can keep, intentionally keep your crown chakra open so you can stay connected and open and to, to hear and also to clear out any stagnancy or negative energy, any static that is blocking you from feeling connected, that is blocking you from hearing or seeing uh, for yourself. All right. So any movement that you're doing, you want to be aware of how your head is in your form. So especially for my weightlifting people out there, you want to make sure you're not dropping your weight when you start, you know, lift, you start curling and we start feeling ourselves when the weight get heavy and then our form goes out the window. Like that's the number one thing you want to pay attention to, right? Is that you are keeping your shoulders down. You're keeping your head nice and neutral. If you're doing from my bar and Pilates people, my people who are even going on walks, you know, don't drop your head down when you walk and keep your head lifted. Keep it up. Look around you. Breathe. See what's around you, right? Keep your shoulders down. Keep your head lifted. Stay connected and locked into your form. It's very similar to the ways we clear out and heal our third eye chakra, right? But even more so, we want to stay focused on our head. We want to stay focused on being open and hearing. Don't forget to always set that intention before you start moving, y'all. Set that intention of healing to clear out your crown chakra, healing to clear out any negative energy, any stagnancy that is in the crown chakra so that you can stay connected to the divine, so that you can stay connected to your higher self. Your higher self is the version of you without the wounds, the version of you that doesn't have the trauma, the version of you that resides within yourself and that resides in the spirit world to keep you on the right path. I call out your higher self is like, your, that's your bestie. 
that's your bestie because that's your bestie that know you inside and out right that's your bestie that know you inside and out and still gonna ride for you still gonna love you still gonna guide you and still gonna be everything you need whatever you need so that crown chakra is how we stay connected all right now when we're looking at crystals all right healing with our crystals angel lights one of my favorite ones it's this really pretty um white color so when we start thinking about especially i'll get to it but clothes right you want to think really bright and pretty clothes so your your i just always like to say just your white your whites help you stay connected to the divine. But then anything that kind of falls within that that white realm. Um, I know some people like to say like they do the white with like shimmer and glitter. Things that feel super high and floaty and connected. For me, when in doubt, white it out. Okay? That white keeps you pure. You want to think about your crown chakra and your body. Everything staying as pure as possible. So that angel light has this really pretty white with a little like transparent shimmer. On it, So that's a good crystal to work with when healing your crown chakra. All right. I know it's purple, but it's still having this white, this sense of purity, um, this sense of clear, clear communication, clear and transparent, open line of communication. All right. Clear quartz. Y'all know me. When in doubt, clear quartz it out. All right. So that clear quartz does the same thing, clears out that crown chakra and keeps it nice and open. Moonstone is another good one to help you stay connected to the divine and also be able to really hear and see. The Moonstone allows for you to, I always say, allows for you to stay dreamy. It allows for you to stay connected with what the divine has for you when it comes to what's possible for you. So when you get those really beautiful dreams of seeing such an amazing life for yourself where you go into meditation and you think about what you want and you see these grand ideas, it's because you're supposed to have it. It's because it's meant for you. It's so that your body can start to get comfortable with that type of expansion. That moonstone really helps bring it out. How light is another good one. It's white and you'll sometimes see these gray kind of um, like strands, almost like, I call them webs, but they, it's probably, you know, it's like gray webs on the white ones. I'm going to start putting the crystals in the video so y'all can actually see them too. But how light is a really another great one for communication. All right. Especially so when you're healing that crown chakra, it's healing the communication with the divine. It's clearing out the static. It's clearing out the stagnancy. And it's clearing out, thank you, it's clearing out any wounds that have um, blocked you from believing that you can have your own divine connection, that have blocked you from kind of feeling a way about even having a divine connection. Maybe you have um, some wounds around spirituality, some wounds around uh, religion, but this is for your healing all right spirit just wanted me to like clarify that like this is for your healing this is for you to be able to have your own connection to a divine source god source a love source this is so you can clear out the stagnancy the disbelief the hurt the pain and the trauma that is still sitting in your crown chakra so that you can actually have your own personal connection to God source, to love source, to the divine through love, not just in your heart, but also in your crown. All right. And then foods. Bum, bum, bum. So foods, we want to look at uh, mushrooms, coconut water, coconuts. Um, you can still incorporate some of those throat chakra foods that we talked about. Blackberries, purple grapes, eggplants, um, plums, right? Because they're still the color purple. But you also really, especially when it's coming to food, y'all, especially when we're talking about taking care of our bodies, you want to think about how are you allowing for your body to be a open beacon right to receive an open beacon to hear an open beacon to stay connected so when we eat foods that don't you know serve our body when we eating fast food when we eating you know all the things that the cakes and the ain't nothing wrong cake don't get me wrong okay let me some sweets now don't get me wrong but when you are when you know that you are intentionally trying to forge a connection with the divine when you are intentionally trying to forge a connection with spirit you have to be mindful of how you are taking care of your temple 
So are you drinking your, you know, your, your water with your lemons and your limes, keeping your body detoxified, clearing out toxins in your body? Are you making sure that you are putting in your body things that are going to heighten it, things that are going to allow for you to stay clear and stay open? Or are you putting in, you know, greasy or heavy foods that just like how it blocks our arteries, it blocks our connection. Just like how it blocks our heart, it blocks our connection. Just like how it starts to block our blood, it blocks our connection. So we have to stay mindful of that. You can't, you know, be out here eating the Popeyes and all the things, and then you mad because you can't hear. Like, they don't, you, you eating low vibrational food, but you want a high vibrational connection. That don't even make no sense, right? So you have to, you know, we have to be intentional with what we put in our body. You know, nobody's saying just only eat lemons and limes all day, but you can make a delicious meal for yourself and still have it be made from food from the earth right? It's possible. It's just a shift. It's just a shift. It's just the evolution. It's just a little transformation. That's, that's all. But you can still feel satisfied with foods that come out of the ground. You can still feel satisfied with things that are just having a higher vibration. And Spirit is reminding me to also say, even all the way down to who making your food, who, what energy is being put into the food that is being made for you, Right. So even if somebody else is making it, who's making it? How's their energy? Because all of that matters when you put that in your body. It all matters. Right. So when you want that connection, when you're forging it, when you are in a space where you're living your life and you're working on your crown chakra and you're healing it, and you like, let's go connection. Let's get it. Let's work. Be intentional and keep all of those things in mind. Right. All right. So y'all already know when it comes down to the clothes, the nails, your accessories, your purses, your socks, your shoes. Right. Think about incorporating the things that you have that have the color purple in it or white. Right. Purples, your whites, you're really they're showing me celosite and um, celosite is like this really pretty. Um, I call it like a light blue heaven color, like this really, really think of like a pastel blue but it's almost, um, but it feels lighter. It's not as deep. I really gotta start showing y'all these crystals, but it's really, it's lighter. But celestite is another really good color that you can incorporate and that you can wear. So think your whites, your shimmeries, your purples, right? Okay, so I know, hey y'all, hey. <laughs> His friend was like, and put this in. I was like, my bad, okay. So, when you're healing your crown chakra, y'all, always think about how you're moving your body, what you're putting into your body. And, oh, I almost forgot the herbs. Thank you. So the herbs are very similar to that of that throat chakra. And these are just the herbs that I personally like to use when I'm healing my crown chakra. I actually like to use kava kava. I like to use mugwort. Um, they are herbs that allow for me to let my body relax. I have ADHD, so sometimes I'm like... <laughs> Right, and so those are herbs that allow for me to ground reishi, lavender, chamomile. Right, those are herbs that allow for me to ground, allow for me to calm my nervous system down. And I can go into my meditations, I can use those herbs and go into a healing bath. I can use those herbs and make me a tea and go into a meditation to actually help me with my connection, to actually go in and listen, to actually have the energy to be still and listen and hear right so our movement our herbs our crystals our food what we're wearing that all helps us stay on this path stay in this lifestyle of healing because sometimes we're healing you know we're doing the healing work and when we need a break from doing you know using our doing our crystal healings doing our ancestral healings doing our healing baths we got to take a break and take a moment to let all of those things settle to let all of that energy settle in our body so while that is happening we have to stay mindful of the foods we're putting in our body we have to stay mindful of the clothes that we're choosing to wear because all of that helps our body and our energy and our spirit sustain the work that is settling down as it kind of gets settled into our spirit and our physical bodies all right so happy healing y'all let me know if y'all got any questions in the comments down below. And yeah, happy healing. I'll see y'all soon. <laughs>